That was that was like that was on accident. I didn't try to. <laughs> Shit. All right, man. Listen, UFC 300. <laughs> UFC 300, man. Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill. Now, this was announced after UFC 298, like literally like a second after the main event, bro. The second after the main event, I looked at Instagram or was it Twitter, and I saw Dana White announcing this card. Now. Announcing this fight now after that fight after after the Jamal Hill after UFC 298 right they do the interview with Jamal Hill and he said I literally heard about this fight like This came on my radar Friday, which was the day before UFC 298 was obviously on Saturday He said he heard about it the day before that's how bad that's how like Messed up UFC 300 main event was if you guys have been keeping up with the whole UFC 300 Build up the main event a week ago or so Dana White said Hey, man, I don't even know who the UFC 300 main event is. It's a mess behind the scenes Fights are falling apart. The main event is most likely gonna be something that you're not even thinking and the main event is most likely gonna be The opposite of what I wanted Okay, if you guys remember from the beginning, Dana White said it's going to be an insane main event. And even, like, I, me personally, I didn't even know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect. I thought he was going to call Bilal Muhammad and Leon Edwards. And let's keep it real. As much as I want to see that fight, as much as Bilal Muhammad deserves that title shot, no one wanted to see that for UFC 300 main event, right? And after UFC, at the, at the UFC 298 post-fight press conference... Dana White said, props to Leon Edwards. We offered him three fights, and he said yes to all three fights. But he never said who it was. And they, the reporter even threw out Bilal Muhammad's name out there, and he kind of shrugged it off, right? Like, it's weird. This whole, like, Bilal Muhammad situation is very weird. And then there's reports that came out today that Bilal Muhammad wasn't even offered to Leon Edwards for UFC 300 main event. So I don't know what's going on with that, but... I'm pretty sure a lot of fights fell apart in the back, right? Like, maybe negotiations, money, some fighters said no. Like, who was it supposed to be, dog? Like, one crazy th fight I would have thought about was, like, Conor McGregor, right? If, any, if Conor McGregor is a superstar, huge, massive, right? Who else, who else would it have been? I, I kept hearing about, clickbait about Habib. It was never going to be Habib. I never believed Habib, bro. Never. Bro, people were saying Brock Lesnar, man. Come on, dog. Like, they were saying all this weird stuff, Brock Lesnar, Dan. Like, just, there were so many names thrown out there. And as Dana White said, a lot of stuff fell, fell apart. I'm curious to know who the fight was supposed to be. That's what I really want to know. And I'm pretty sure Dana White's going to say it. But so far, I mean, not so far. The UFC 300 main event is Alex Pereira and Jamal Hill. And Alex Pereira, like, four, four weeks ago, posted this, actually, on his Instagram. Okay, but he didn't write main event. He said, guys, let's focus on what matters first, which is Jamal Hill. And then I'll focus on breaking another record by making two title defenses in the shortest time possible. Now, UFC Brazil in Rio is in May. A lot of fans, a lot of fans are like, dog, like, Alec, why would you put Alex Pereira at the UFC 300 main event when a month later is UFC, uh, the, the, it's UFC 301 in Brazil? Now, in that Instagram post, he says, I'm gonna make the I'm gonna break another record by making the shortest time uh, the shortest, what did he say? The shortest title defense possible in the shortest time, right? And he just did an interview. I think this was yesterday or today. He says the same thing. He says, if I come out of this UFC 3 300 versus Jamal Hill, like obviously if he wins and if he doesn't come injured, I'm gonna fight at UFC 301. And if he does this. Like, come on, dog. This will be insane, dog. This will be insane. But I also seen a lot of people say that they're not happy with this card, with this fight. Me personally, given the circumstances, like how Dana White is saying everything fell apart, how no one wanted Bilal Muhammad versus Leon Edwards, I like this fight. Now, Alex Pereira is a major superstar. He's a man. He's big, bro. No homo. Okay, he's a star, bro. Alex Pereira is a star. Now, what most people are saying. 
dog, Jamal Hill for the UFC 300 main event. Like, that's what most people are saying. Let me read you a couple of the comments. Someone says, pull out down. Someone says this. I speak for all UFC fans when I say UFC 300 is average as F. That's not main event 300 worthy, Dana. This kind of sucks. All that waiting for this announcement, grab the oil. Worst UFC event of all time. You did, a, you did all that just to hype up that shit. My reaction to this looks like a Dana White looking like they're beating him up on the subway. Jamal Hill, question mark. Yeah, see, people are saying, look, nobody wants to see Hill fight, even on a fight night. Reaction to this Dana, this Nate Diaz slapping Dana White. More, like a lot, of, honestly, I'll have, I like, I, I'd have liked Bilal versus Leon on this card more. I wouldn't. No, no way, bro. There's no way any of you would have won Leon Edwards versus Bilal Muhammad more than Jamal Hill versus Alex Pereira for the UFC 300 main event. At least it's going to be a banger. Well, this ruined a good night. UFC 299 going to be the best fight in decades. Should, should have done it in Brazil at UFC 301. That's a lot of people are saying that. And Alex Pereira said, hey, dog, I'm try I'll, I'll, I'll try it, bro. That's what he's saying. He's saying if everything goes well at UFC 300, I'll come back, go at UFC 300, which makes the most sense, bro. He's a massive star, and it's in Brazil. Look, give people what they want. <laughs> Dana White, Dino Ortiz, big failure. Dana White told us dreams for almost three months for this. That is true. Now, even though I'm cool with this fight, I'm an I'm a Alex Pereira fan. I mean, Jamal Hill is cool too, but I'm an Alex Pereira fan. I'm, I'm kind of cool with this fight. Though, but, but I thought, like, the way Dana White said it, bro. You guys know, he said it's going to be, wow. Oh, that's what everyone was for. That's what everyone was expecting. But what fight would have been that? Think about it. Think about what fight at UFC, what main event would you have said, oh, my God. What? What? Connor? Who knows what's going on with Connor? Like, who knows? Like, Dana White at the UFC 298 press conference, post fight press conference, said, hey, man, the guy has too much money. And to me, I don't think Connor's ever coming back because the way Dana was talking, he's like, dog, it's hard getting this guy to fight when he has too mon much money. Is Dana White lying? Do I believe Dana White? I have no idea, dog. Like, no one knows what's going on with Connor McGregor. Supposedly, he's fighting in June. I just feel bad for Michael Chandler, bro. Because he's dragged Michael Chandler. And Michael Chandler's old, bro. He's just wasted so much time, dog. Now, I don't know, man. Talk about a letdown. Not good one, Dana. It could have been better. Look, it's that get the oil stuff. Great fight, no doubt. But a little underwhelming. Izzy versus... Oh, there was Izzy versus Drikas. But I think... I'm pretty sure they offered Drikas to Plessy. And he said no. I I'm guessing, right? Because uh, Israel Adesanya today on Instagram... On his, on his story, he posted, I, I'm ready. I was ready for 300. So I'm pretty sure they offered Drugas Duplessis and he said no. Make this cold main event and make Justin Max the main. No, man. Come on, dog. Hell about to give him sweet dreams. What happened to the super fight? Is this a joke? May as well make Justin the same thing. He's saying the same thing. No, Paul Dan runs is over. Why, Dana? Why? They're saying uh, Alex Perez is going to lose. Even Dana looks sad. Yeah, man. I mean, I don't know, dog. I don't know what's going on, but... Judging from the comments and judging from a lot of like, like obviously like if you if you're part of Twitter and if you like UFC, you're part of the MMA Twitter, right? A lot of people are saying, I don't like this. A lot of people are saying, hey, what like like I just read those comments. A lot of people are saying, hey dog, what happened to that crazy fight? What I think happened and what Dana White said it happened, a lot of stuff fell apart, and this was a literally a last second thing. Freaking Jamal Hill did this interview yesterday and said I heard about this on Friday. And he also did say that there was a couple other fights. There was a couple other fights, but they chose us because, like, he said something along the lines of, like, we're, the, we're like, the no better choice than the other fights. So I'm pretty sure one day Dana White is going to come out and say, hey, man, this was the deal. This was what happened behind the scenes. I offered this guy, offered this guy, offered this guy, offered this guy. Everyone said no, and I had to choose. This was literally a desperate move. Dog, think about this. They offered John Jones a week ago. If you if you if if they offered John Jones a UFC 300 main event spot, that means they're so desperate, dog. That means that he's injured. Like they know he's injured. He's out for nine months, bro. Out of shape, drinking at the comedy club, saying some weird stuff. And I'm a huge John Jones fan, dog. But I mean, I'm disappointed at John Jones, bro. I mean, I'm a nobody to be disappointed. I'm just a fan, but. You know how it is, man. But yeah, bro. Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill. This is what we got. 
Like I said, I'm not like wow about it. I'm not like, oh my God, Alice Pereira versus Jamal Hill at UFC 300 main event. But I'm cool with it. And I was kind of expecting it after this post. I even made a video on this like a couple weeks ago. After this, after this Instagram post that Alex Pereira posted, it's him. It, he got in the octagon after Jamal Hill beat Glover Teixeira. And it, like, the video is him like staring him down. I'm sure you guys have seen it, bro. This is it. The video is him staring him down. And I already read the caption. He said... My first, my first thing is to beat Jamal Hill, then make the quickest title defense possible. And once again, he did this interview yesterday. He said the same thing. And if he does this, if he beats Jamal Hill, I think he's going to beat Jamal Hill. I think, I don't think Jamal Hill is recovered. And I don't think he's in shape. As, I mean, I've been seeing a lot of, like, I follow Alex Pereira. Like, he's been training and stuff. He's in Dubai right now. He was training. He's having fun and stuff, but he's training. I don't think Jamal Hill is going to be in shape, and I think he's still hurt. I, I mean, I, I'm not wishing that on him, of course, but I think he's injured. I think he's going to be... I think Alex Pereira is going to win, dog. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? Let me know what you think of this in the comments, man. Do you like this UFC 300 main event, or are you disappointed? Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. And it'll mean the world to me if you like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification. Thank you so much for watching.